Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I want to discuss four items that I believe are imperative that the game developers add to make the quality of life that much better for the building process and for builders specifically. These are all items that I believe can be implemented within the workbench and will make things that much better for us. So without further ado, let's begin. The first item is, in my opinion, the most important of all, and I would love if this is done. I would love if this was done yesterday, and I don't want to make this a rant, but this is one of the things that just drives me crazy, and not a lot of things drive me crazy in Stormworks. As you know, I really do love this game, but what happens is we had this new update with all the compressed gases, so now we need to make changes on our ships, which is fine. We'll make these changes, but here's the problem. I want to upload a new version of this ship. So I've updated it, I've gone ahead, I go to the workshop, good luck finding it. I have over 150 creations, so how do I find it? I have to manually scroll or go to Steam, search up the creation and look up the date and then find it by date, but my goodness, couldn't it have been so much easier and so much better if there's just a little search bar on the top that I could type in and find the ship that I'm wanting to update or the creation that I'm wanting to update and just do it. This would save me so much time, it would enable me and almost motivate me to go back and up update my ships and my old creations. But because of this setup of just manually scrolling until I luckily come across the right ship. Wow, here it is, here's the right ship. So now I press it. Yeah, sure, I wanna overwrite it, but check this out. Here's the kicker. When I go to the thumbnail, there's a search bar. So I can easily find the picture of the ship that I want. So here we have the search function but to find the creation in this list i don't have a search function so please 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 give us a search function for the uploads that we have for our creations that's going to make our lives so much easier the second item of importance is the add-ons now they went ahead and updated this add-on interface they made it beautiful like you can go to the location you see all this stuff like this is really nice Everything else works fine here, but check this out. You go to edit objects, and now you have the um, you have the process of physically moving about the um, your creation. So I want to put some cars here. I want to put this and that, but here's the kicker. I have this little node right here, and everything moves about that node. So I can only rotate about this node. Yet in our um, workbench, when we're doing creations, we have the option to rotate about a point or we have the option to free move around here. So I have to hold my right mouse button and do this. I have to press the middle mouse button and do this. I have to zoom in, but here I've zoomed in. And now if I wanted to go into this barn, I have to move out, move it like this, move down and all that stuff. So again, not a big deal, we can do it, but just like, one of those things, like you have it already in our other part of the game. I would just love the arrow keys to use the arrow keys WASD and have free moving around rather than doing this about this point. Just for comparison, as you can see here, we can have camera and we can have the different modes. So orbit mode is exactly what that one was. We hold the mouse button, it moves around, or middle mouse, do this, right mouse button, pivots. Great. But we also have free mode. How great is free mode where you could just do this I'm holding the arrow keys and you can properly position yourself in the best place needed to accomplish your task so it's here in one part of the game and not there in the other part so please developers add this this is not as important as item number one but I think that it would help so much with organizing and managing and working on the add-ons item number three is related to the connectors so you see these electrical connectors you cannot spawn them touching. In theory, this should be possible because that's what they would do. When they're, when they're touching, they're touching, and this is what happens. However, the game doesn't allow you to do this, yet with certain things, like the other, the hardpoint connectors, you can spawn it just like that. So if you have this and add some like that, I can now go ahead and take this attachment and it can be starting off spawned within it. So in this case now, it's spawned right there. And obviously this doesn't make sense where it's um, part of the same 
component like right now it's all red it's all part of the same body but easy enough you just select it paste it there you go so now you have a properly connected node using this hardpoint connector why can't we have it for the other ones for the small connector we don't get it we don't get it for all the other ones so i would love for that to be a possibility clearly they have it in the game and the reason I spawned the tow truck is to show you this right here. So this can't start off spawned. And fair enough, the reason why we start it like this is so it can hitch up this post and make it upright. But there's instances where I'd like something to be spawned on top of it or attached to it. And it's a shame that these connectors don't allow that. Obviously this is not imperative, so I'd say this is not an important item because we have workarounds, we have the other parts of the game, but it would be nice that it could be standardized and we can end up with this working the same way. My last item is the least important, and really it's not even necessary because we can find ways around it, but again, it's the inconsistency that drives me crazy. Certain things can work and then others can't. So. What I'm talking about here is if I want to paint this yellow, yes, I can paint right next to the pipe. If I want to paint this microcontroller, I can. But if I want to paint this, I cannot. And I can now go, I have to go through the microcontroller and you have to kind of click back and forth. And actually, funny enough, this used to work before the update where you could just paint through the microcontroller. Now you can't even do that. So that's why I'm calling, I'm saying this is a complaint of mine because previously, at least yes, I could go into it and paint it. Now, that's not even possible. I don't know what changed, why I can no longer do that. But here yet, there's certain things that you can fully paint around, including the pre-made microcontrollers. So here we are painting right alongside this pre-made microcontroller, the add, add one, but yet we cannot do it here. So come on, like that's just one of those inconsistencies that drives me crazy and now, again, you can't even do this. So please, please fix this. This just makes painting so much of a pain, guys. Now I really don't wanna come off as needy or complainy, complaining, negative Nelly, whatever you may say. So developers, if you are watching this, I love your guys' game, I really do. I'm just giving these critical suggestions to hopefully enable you to fix it and not have the little intricacies that people can get caught up on and drive them crazy obviously there's gonna be bugs i understand that there's gonna be bugs there's gonna be glitches there's gonna be things that happen in the game but these types of inconsistencies in my opinion where you already have a working version so one part of it does work just like how we have part of, some of the connectors work some of the paint works some of the modes have the free mo free look and some of the options to upload creations have the search. So all of it is already in the game. It's all already been thought out. And now it just comes down to the last bit, which is making it consistent and making it available for all parts of the game. So please, again, don't take it as me ranting and raving and getting upset. I love this game. I love all that you've done for it. And I really do appreciate all that. So I'm not saying this in a negative light. I'm just trying to say in a more sort of annoyed tone maybe but at the same time even if you don't do this i love the game i'm not going to complain i'm not going to downvote your game and rate it poorly i just think these items would improve the quality of life for all builders not just me so anyways without further ado i'm going to end this video thank you all for watching stay tuned for more more creations more content and more fun and as always happy stormworksing everyone